What's up guys, it's Shazibo Fridi from GameLogix and this is part 44 of our tutorial series how to make Ludo game in Unity. Okay, so I need to correct a few things, okay. Uh, they are also okay uh, if we leave them in this way, but I would like to make a few changes, okay, which I, uh, which I think that... Uh, <clears throat> I was thinking about these things okay so I think that uh, they would be uh, better if they are in that uh, pattern okay so let's make them the first thing is here we need to include a parenthesis okay now it, it's correct okay so and like and the player turn belongs to red or blue so now this will work uh, in a correct manner uh, this will work in the way that we desire okay so this is the correct form and here we need to change them uh, we should work like so okay, it's because of the uh, break statement don't worry about this okay it will be fixed when we are done with this so like red and blue then we need to write the code for blue and green and then green and yellow and then yellow and then red and then we need to check for the uh, players diagonally like yellow and blue and then green and uh, red okay uh, in the case of like uh, when uh, two uh, of the four players when okay so like red and uh, blue and then blue and green and then green and yellow and then yellow and red and then diagonally red and green and yellow and blue okay so you got it so now let's make them in that fashion and it's better in my point of view okay like we need like in the, in the previous version like i have done it okay we need to think about this uh, very carefully like like um, which case is left like what could be the possible scenario again like uh, what could be the other possible scenario and what could be the other possible scenario like red and green and yellow okay so in that case it will be kind of uh, difficult okay so let's make it easy <clears throat> red and blue then blue and the green okay. blue and uh, blue and green and then uh, this should be yellow and this should be red okay and the player turn Should belong to blue it will either belong to uh, like uh, blue or green okay so blue or green it's blue and it's uh, blue as well and this should be blue okay blue and green so the turn will go to uh, yellow okay so in this way we will know the exact player turn like blue and green have won then it will come to this yellow player the player turn will come to yellow okay so now blue and green and then green and the yellow so this should be green green and yellow so this should be uh, green and here we need to 
making the way to suppose to it's our desire uh, coding pattern like and the player term should belong to this one or this one okay so it will return one of these one of them okay so yeah i know my english sucks but yeah if you can understand what i am trying to say then it's perfect <clears throat> The whole point is just to make you understand, okay? Nothing else. So green and yellow, then it should, the player turn should belong to red. Okay. So that's it. And green and yellow, and now yellow. Uh, no yellow and red, okay. Yellow and red. Yellow and red. And yeah, I think blue and green. So yellow and red is left. Green and yellow. Okay, so here green and yellow. And then red and blue. So there it should be and then it should be red. We need to check them again and again because they can create big problems for us mm. i think we are okay blue green yellow and red okay so everything is set and now green and yellow and yellow and red and yellow and red and then it should be blue and this should be blue and green and the player turn should belong to a yellow and yellow and red and we need to make to change here as well okay so okay here yellow what the hell yeah the kips lock is on yellow and red Yellow Yellow and red Yellow And Red So yellow and the red then the player done should belong to blue Okay set <clears throat> and um, now we need to check uh, them diagonally so let's have comment here diagonally mm, like uh, mm, 
red versus green and blue versus yellow okay so uh, this should be red if red uh, and green if red and green have won it and uh, Should be blue and yellow. And this should be like this. So, and this should be not this capital. Okay, so red green so red green oh done w is causing the problem red and green have won the game we need to check another condition here <clears throat> oh, before this Uh, if a player turn is with uh, red, then the player turn should belong to Blue. Else, if uh, if player turn uh, is with the uh, green, then the player turn should be with uh, after green we have yellow hmm? yeah so now it's perfect okay so it does make sense now so red and green is done so now let's have blue versus yellow like blue and the yellow have won the game then Okay, so let's copy this and let's paste it right here. So it's blue. Caps lock was on. Blue and yellow. So like red and green. And then blue and yellow. So Let's make the changes here. <clears throat> mm -hmm. 
blue and uh, yellow and blue and uh, yellow same goes here blue and yellow have won the game so now if player turn belongs to blue then give it to green and uh, if it belongs to yellow then give it to red okay so uh, we are done for uh, the scenario where uh, two of uh, four players win the game so this is it for this tutorial guys uh, and uh, if you have any issues problems then let me know in the comment section i will gladly help so don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for notifications and support me guys your support will keep me motivated okay so see you guys uh, in uh, the next uh, tutorial